Hey guys, good morning. The thing that's on my mind this morning came as a result of a post by Valerie Gordon. If you're not following her, you totally want to do that. She is a storytelling expert, a keynote speaker, and a workshop facilitator, and she specializes in helping uh, you tell your story and really creating a story that uh, ends up helping you to create the life that you desire. And uh, she told a really interesting story about her personal motivation crash in a um, just a situation on a walk on the beach that was just it was hilarious and just so appropriate and it, it really hit home with me because I am in a motivation crash myself right now um, just through some personal and business things that are happening for me and I know the only way to get out of uh, that motivation drain if you will is to do things that I know are gonna pull me out so there's four things that I focus on uh, most of the time but especially when I know I'm in a motivation crash and the first one is meditation and visualization those of you who follow me or have listened to my videos have heard me talking about this before um, and it just goes so such a long way to just helping quiet that anxiety and helping me focus on the future that I'm creating or my dream life. Um, the other one is to get physical. So, you know, whether it's going for a walk, uh, going for a bike ride, uh, doing my core training in the morning, getting physical and moving my body really, really helps to get me out of a funk. Um, the other one is journaling. So I am a huge journal. I've, I've created a digital goal journal. We're working on a hard copy uh, edition that I'm super excited about. And I'm passionate about journaling because I've seen the difference that it makes in my life and in um, others in terms of the actions that we take, our mindset, and just the way that we move forward towards our dreams. Um, which brings me to the fourth thing, and that is taking deliberate action. And I think this one is really the hard one when you are in a slump or you're just not feeling motivated. It literally feels like you're dragging yourself through quicksand to just take the smallest action. Yet, when we take those small actions and those small steps and take a step back and go, hey, I did these three things today that are gonna move me closer to my goals, it really changes our outlook and little by little, we'll start to see that motivation creep back in. So those are the four things I do when I'm in a motivation crash. I would love to hear from you in the comments. What do you do that works? Um, whatever you do, keep moving forward because we only get one shot at this life and we get to create as Valerie would say, the end of our story. So, um, and there's always a next chapter. <laughs> so if this chapter isn't turning out the way you want it to, remember uh, you are the author, you're holding the pen, and you get to create the next chapter. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.